Hi, and welcome to VA Disability Group's uh, video and outline of all the national benefits that are available to veterans who have reached 100% status. With me today, I have Shauna Fishhaber, who is one of our claims specialists at the firm. Hi, and this is Courtney Simpson. She is our firm administrator. You can check us out on our website at www www.vadisabilitygroup.com. So today the goal of our video is just to provide you a little bit of information and direction for these national benefits that you can now avail yourself of that now that you've reached the 100% rating status. So our intent in this video is to give you a really general overview and some helpful tips on how to apply for these benefits and how to maybe streamline the process for you and make it a little easier. Um, we're going to be talking in general terms and overarching themes. If any of the topics that we're covering today you would like more information about, please visit our website as Shauna has mentioned as we have many more helpful links as well as really in-depth blogs that might talk more about some of the topics that interest you. That's right, and just keep in mind this is not an exhaustive list. There are so many benefits out there, so uh, continuing to, to look would be, would be wonderful. Um, and additionally, eligibility guidelines are updated routinely, so as of the making of these videos, this information is accurate, but just make sure that you're checking in with the uh, agencies providing these benefits to make sure of those requirements for eligibility. For all of the benefits that we're going to talk about today that are available to you nationally, you're going to need what's known as a summary of benefits letter. And that, th that terminology is going to come up over and over and over again. This is one of the most important documents that you need to avail yourself to these benefits. So we are going to talk in the next couple sections about how to um, obtain a copy of this as this is incredibly important. And as I mentioned that there will be more sections to this video, please check the notes down below. We're going to have links to our website, links to other important areas, blogs that we've created, as well as um, timestamps to help you skip to certain parts of the video that might be the most pertinent to you at this time. That's right, and we also plan to do state-specific videos for the benefits that are specifically for your state. So as I mentioned, that summary of benefits letter is one of the most important documents that you're going to need a copy of in order to take advantage of all the national benefits that are available to you. So before you can apply to any of these benefits, you do need a copy of this letter. The VA mails this document out annually at the start of every year. However, if you need to obtain a copy of this letter at any other point in the year, there are several different ways that you can obtain one. Uh, you can go to www.ebenefits.va.gov. You can also visit www.va.gov, uh, there's another resource there, uh, myhealth.va.gov. Or finally, if um, internet is not nearly as accessible for you, you can go visit your local VA medical center or regional office and an employee should be able to produce one for you right on the spot. If you do choose this avenue and you would like to go visit um, either the VA medical center or the regional office, we do recommend that you call ahead of time and check what their hours and availability are before showing up. Uh, another important step that you're going to want to take at the very onset of receiving those 100% benefits it's to, is to make sure that your dependency is up to date. All of your dependents are current, so that includes if you uh, need to add a dependent or if you need to remove a dependent because that could lead to uh, some issues with your payments and we don't want that. So uh, you have one year from the date of your decision to establish your dependency for it to backdate. Um, this is something that you can update on your eBenefits website, on the eBenefits website as well, or uh, there's a form that you can mail in as well. It's the 686C that you will want to mail in to the VA. Now we're going to introduce um, some of the next steps and housekeeping items. So once you obtain the summary of benefits letter, these are the items and steps that you're going to have to take once you visit your local VA. One of the first things that you should um, obtain is a VHIT card. This is called a Veteran Health Identification Card. You're going to visit the healthcare facility at your local VA in order to obtain this. Um, what you need to bring with you is again that summary of benefits letter as well as a copy of your photo ID. This VHIT card is something that many of the veterans may already have, but for those individuals who have gone from 0% right to 100%, they might not have already had this card. And what this card does is help you, is enroll you into the VA healthcare system. So again, this is going to be one of the very first things that you should take care of if you do not already have a VHIT card. 
Now the next thing you're going to want to do, this is also going to take place at the VA, is to visit the Eligibility and Finance Office. And the reason you want to go there is because you may be able to receive out-of-pocket reimbursement for your health care costs. Um, as you're going through this and considering what you should bring in, I would be liberal and uh, bring all those medical bills in and it never hurts to ask to see what they would be willing to, re be, to reimburse you for. And this is something that you should do as soon as possible. Again, you'll want to call ahead to see what their hours are. Uh, the next item is visiting the travel office for the transportation reimbursement. So once a veteran reaches a 60% rating, they're now eligible to receive travel reimbursement for any care they receive at the VA or in association with the VA. Um, you should apply for this within three months of receiving your decision. And whenever you now visit the VA for your health care, they will, you'll inform them that you are eligible for transportation reimbursement and you'll receive a check in the mail. Veterans who are rated at 100% and permanent in total are also eligible for VA dental coverage. You're going to again go to your VA lo or your local VA and go to the dental office to see about applying or scheduling an examination at that time. This coverage, dental this dental coverage is also available for veterans who are not rated 100% nor permanent in total, but do have a compensable dental condition of 10% or greater. That's right, and it will cover your cleanings and denture care. Okay, so the next housekeeping item you're going to want to take care of at your 100% rating is getting your military ID card. This is different from the VHIC. Um, it is the TAN card, and it's obtained at a Deer's office. So you'll be able to just search, do a Google search of uh, the nearest Deer's office to you. Um, now what this card allows, it has additional benefits, those being access to the bases. Uh, they allow you, they'll provide legal assistance on base. Um, they provide you access to the MWR. They provide access to the commissary and exchanges on base. So um, this is a really nice benefit to have. Um, it's available to your dependents as well. So for the veteran, the veteran's going to need your summary of benefits letter in a form of ID. Um, the dependents are going to need a little bit more documentation for a spouse. They uh, need two forms of ID, a marriage certificate. Children are also eligible um, and also will need two, at least two forms of ID. I would recommend conversing with your Deer's office to see what they specifically require as they tend to differ as well as their hours of operation of when they are willing to, or when they will do the uh, veterans ID cards. Now we've gone over all of the housekeeping items and tasks and uh, things that you need to take care of while you're at the VA office. So next we want to go into some of the grants and allowances that might be applicable to you with your new 100% rating. So one of the first things we're going to talk about are disability housing grants. There are two different um, there are two different housing grants offered by the VA for veterans who own or will own the home that they are currently living in and have a qualifying service-connected disability. I recommend that you do go to the VA's website as they go into greater detail as to exactly what the eligibility requirements are. So these two programs uh, are known as the Special Adapted Housing, known as SAH, which is offered to up to 120 veterans per year, and the grant as of 2021 is approximately $100,000. The other program for uh, veterans who own or will own their home uh, is called the Special Home Adaptation, SHA. And so this is not capped each year, so it's a, uh, there's no limit to the number of uh, veterans who can avail themselves of this benefit. However, as of 2021, the grant amount is roughly $20,000. Again, I do recommend that you go to the VA's website and look in more detail about the exact criteria and eligibility requirements before applying to these programs. The other housing program that is offered by the VA is the Temporary Residence Adaptation, TRA program. Um, and so you may be able to um, 
you may be eligible for this program if you meet some of the requirements listed below. So this means you must qualify for an SAH or SHA grant, the two programs that I had talked about before, and you must be living in a temporary location, such as a family member's home, that might need adaptations or other structures built to help you live with some of your new service-connected conditions. Again, to, make the, to, uh, to avail yourself of this TRA grant, you do not have to own the house that you're applying for the benefits for. So the current grant that is offered as of 2021, if you had qualified for the SAH grant, Special Adapted Housing, you can get up to roughly $40,000 as of 2021 through the TRA grant program. And if you qualified for the SHA grant, which is Special Home Adaptation, you can get up to roughly $7,000 through the TRA grant program as of 2021. So similarly to the home adaptations, there are automobile allowances offered by the VA. If you qualify, uh, they will give you a one-time payment, and the current rate is around $21,000 to specially equip your vehicle. Um, now you must already be service connected for the condition before purchasing the vehicle to receive the payment. And this payment, uh, is paid by the VA and sometimes it's di paid directly to the veteran or it can be paid directly to the equipment seller. Uh, so eligibility items included as a permanent loss of use of one or more of your feet or your hands, a permanent decrease in vision in both eyes and uh, per permanent burns, severe burns, as well as ALS and uh, permanent stiffening in the joints of your legs, and both knees or hips. Another allowance that might be applicable to you is the clothing allowance. Um, so to be eligible for this allowance, both of these must be true. You must have a prosthetic or orthopedic device or skin medication which causes abnormal wear and tear to your clothes at a faster rate than normal, and you must require this device or medication due to an injury or illness related to your service, i.e. it is because of a service-connected condition. So this is, no, this is a one-time payment or a yearly payment, and you, but you may be able to qualify for more than one payment if you meet at least one of the requirements, um, if you meet at least one of these requirements. If you have more than one prosthetic or orthopedic device, or you have more than one skin medication, or your device or skin medication affects more than one type of clothing, you may qualify for more than one payment. In order to apply for this payment, you do need to apply before August 1st of every single year. If you do qualify, you will receive your payment between September 1st and October 31st of that year. In order to, uh, to complete this application, known as the 108678, you must bring that completed form along with a copy of your summary of benefits letter to your local VA office in the Prosthetics and Sensory Aid Service Department. This must be delivered or faxed or mailed before August 1st of every single year in order to avail yourself to this benefit. I highly recommend that you call your local VA beforehand as some of them will only accept this application in certain formats. Okay, so we've gotten through our housekeeping. We've gotten through some of the grants that you might be eligible for. Now we're gonna transition into those benefits for 100% disability. Uh, the first one we're gonna discuss is CHAMP VA Healthcare. This is available for recipients of 100% permanent and total rating. And this is for healthcare provided for your spouse and your dependents. Keep in mind, veteran, you're gonna be seen at the VA for your healthcare. Um, so dependents are eligible up to age 18, unless you're a full-time student, then uh, you're eligible up till age 23. Uh, CHAMP VA operates very similarly to TRICARE. It's just administered through the VA. Uh, there, is, there are some specific qualifiers for Medicare status that will impact your eligibility for CHAMP VA. Um, you can have both. Medicare would just operate as your primary and CHAMP VA would be your secondary. Additionally, if you have other healthcare coverage, you could keep them as your primary and then have CHAMP VA as your secondary. 
Um, there are also prescription coverage options available through CHAMP VA Healthcare. And it's also important to note that it's possible to be reimbursed for your dependents' private healthcare costs dating back to the award date of your 100% permanent and total status. So I highly recommend that you look into CHAMP VA Healthcare and see if that's going to be a benefit for your family. In addition to CHAMP VA, your family can now avail itself of some dental care through Delta Dental. Veterans, keep in mind your dental care is still going to be administered through the VA, but you can reach out to Delta Dental for low and reasonable rates for your family and your dependents. You can find the link to their site in the uh, comments below. All right, so let's move into another benefit here for dependents. So, dependents educational assistance can be a game changer for veterans families. Uh, it is a benefit for both spouses and dependents for college tuition assistance. It operates through chapter 35. Um, so the, it's a reimbursement program and you can use it for college or undergraduate programs, uh, career training certificates, educational and career counseling, apprenticeships and on the job training. Keep in mind that you can either receive DEA or the dependent rate, but not both. And the benefits of DEA for a veteran rated at 100% permanent and total far outweigh uh, just receiving that dependent's rate. This money will be paid directly to the dependent to be used for their schooling. So for eligibility, a spouse is eligible for 10 years from the date of the decision. Um, dependents aged 18 to 26 are eligible for this. Now, if, if either becomes active duty, then this date is deferred and they can still use this after their uh, period of service. Um, so this benefit covers 36 months for a full-time student. The full-time student rate is currently $1,298, um, and this is increased annually in October. There is no penalty if the student decides to drop out. Um, so, which is amazing. And then if you're interested, the online application is available. Um, the form you're looking for is the 22-5490, and it can be completed online or uh, by paper. Once you submit the application, a decision is usually reached within 30 days, and if it's approved, you'll receive a certificate letter. This is the letter that you'll want to submit to your school. All schools are going to have a veterans advocate that will be able to assist you with any additional documents you're going to need. Veteran educational assistance is also available to you veterans and there is a plethora of supplemental programs and scholarships that you can also avail yourself of and we will have links in the description below. One of the most amazing benefits that are available to veterans that are 100% permanent and total or, indivi or through individual unemployability is federal student loan forgiveness. As of 2018 uh, to 2025, those veterans with the permanent and total rating or IU are, are eligible for student loan relief. For more information, please go to studentaid.gov as well as check out the application in the link below for more information on how to apply for this program. Uh, one of the most important things for you to know is that this forgiven debt is not treated as income. So please do go to studentaid.gov to see if you can avail yourself to this student loan forgiveness. Now we're going to discuss death and indemnity compensation, otherwise known as DIC. Um, so your spouse will be eligible for death and indemnity if you are the veteran are to predecease them by reason of your service connected condition or if you have received your 100% rating and you keep it for 10 years before or more before you pass. Um, the current rate is $1,357 per month. This is a benefit that is really important and is something that your spouse should be aware of in the very unfortunate incident that you do predecease them due to a service-connected condition. Another program that you should be aware of is uh, reduced cost life insurance policies. So you should go to the VA's website to see all of the um, requirements and eligibility 
All of the eligibility requirements you need to meet to qualify for this low-cost life insurance policy. However, one of the most important things that you should know is that you must apply for this insurance within two years from the date you are granted a new service-connected disability. If you do qualify for this life insurance policy, you can receive up to $10,000 of coverage and up to $30,000 of supplemental coverage. Please visit the VA's website to find all of the criteria that you must meet to be eligible. Um, and additionally, check out the links below for more information on how to apply to obtain Service Disabled Veterans Life Insurance, or otherwise known as S-DVI. Next, we're going to discuss TSGLI. So if you are covered by SGLI life insurance and you experienced a traumatic injury, you may qualify for TSGLI. It's an additional life insurance policy. Uh, the eligibility is quite detailed, so I do recommend that you visit the website in order to learn more details about that. So now we're going to discuss the recreational benefits that are available to you throughout the nation. Uh, the first one is the National Park Pass. It's the year-round pass that would allow you access to all the national parks throughout the country. Um, it is a free lifetime pass. There is a $10 handling fee to, to produce this. Uh, so this pass provides entrance into all the parks for yourself and anybody accompanying you within the vehicle. Uh, you'll also want to produce a photo ID along with the pass when you enter the parks. One of the other really cool programs that are offered for veterans who are 100% and permanent in total is space available flights. The 2019 National Defense Authorization Act allows veterans rated at 100% permanent in total to take advantage of space available on military aircraft for traveling. You must obtain a DD form 2765, otherwise known as your TAN card, which we've mentioned before, um, in order to take advantage of this program. One of the things that is important to keep in mind while you're taking advantage of space available flights is that while you are, um, while you are taking advantage of this, you are listed as category six. That means that you are unfortunately the lowest man on the totem pole and if there is anybody else, like an active duty service member that needs to take that space over, uh, you might get booted off the flight. So while you're taking advantage of this incredibly cool program, please be very flexible with your travel plans. So an additional benefit that we feel is really important for, the, for veterans to know about is the urgent care and emergency care that um, they can receive. Um, the eligibility is quite broad. You just need to be enrolled at the VA healthcare system and have been treated at the VA healthcare system within the last 24 months. So if you are in need of urgent care, you can get a listing of your local urgent care facilities that participate in this program. Um, there is an urgent care assistance card that you print off ahead of time. It's not a card. It's a loose leaf sheet of paper. I recommend you just keep it in your glove box or make sure a family member has one accessible in case of an emergency. You would present this card at your time of service at these approved urgent care facilities. You should not receive any sort of a copay at that time and uh, the VA should cover any of those costs for you. Um, additionally, um, if you are prescribed a medication while at this urgent care visit, there is a prescription reimbursement program as well. Now let's talk about the, er the emergency care. The emergency care operates a little bit differently. Um, you do not need to check in with the VA. If you need emergency care, you should go directly to your nearest emergency room. Uh, what you do need to be aware of is that if you, if you go, you need to notify the VA within 72 hours of your admission in order to be reimbursed. Uh, we're not thinking about this when when we're in this situation. So make sure this is something that friends and loved ones are aware of that they because they are able to call in for you. Um, it's often referred to as the 72 hour line and the phone number is 
7842. And it is important to note that although we've been talking about benefits that are really only available to veterans right at 100%, this urgent care and emergency care program is available to veterans with any rating. You just must be enrolled within the VA healthcare system and, as Shauna mentioned, receive treatment from either the VA or a VA community provider within the last 24 months. One of the final really cool programs we would love to share with you is the Shades of Green Resort located in Walt Disney World in Florida. This is a wonderful uh, resort that is um, tailored and specific to active duty members of the military, uh, veterans as well as their families. So it is a really cool program for you and your family members to check out. Thank you so much for joining us today and I hopefully you learned a little bit more about some of the national benefits that are available to you. Uh, as we sh as Shana mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are a lot more benefits that are available at a specific state level, so please stay tuned and check out the video that is applicable to you.